my life is in shambles, but that's fine. Starting this video out strong, future Maggie here. My intro got deleted and I am not gonna put on makeup today. If you are interested in seeing all the things that I've gotten from DN Co, stay tuned to see it all the goodies. I'm super professional. Anyway, back to the video. I'm wearing a one piece, a onesie. I'm essentially wearing pajamas. This is from Smash Tess, and it is the comfiest thing I've ever worn in my life. But we're not here to talk about Smash Tess today. Maybe another video. Back to DN Co. If you are a plus size babe, a mid plus size babe, and you're struggling to find either like one specific brand that caters to you, that is also your style. It's a lot, it's it's not easy. And so I think DN Co. does a, a really good job of like having lots of different styles. I'll like pop a little, kind of scroll through their website so you can kind of get a vibe for what they have. Um, but it's nice that they offer like lots of different brands and it's just like, where can I go where I know everything's gonna be in my size? Mm -hmm. Love that. Well, I have a few kind of fall or winter pieces, which I wish I could wear more frequently other than inside my own home because I keep it at 70 degrees. But alas, it is uh, the 1st of November and I think it's probably 85 degrees outside. It's disgusting. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the clothes. Okay, so I kind of got these items in two different campaigns that I did for Instagram. One is actually from Madewell, is like a Madewell specific, so I think I have three items that are made well. And then the other ones are kind of different other brands. They're just in a pile because I, I, when I do laundry, it takes me at least two weeks. So anyway, so this sweatshirt, it's a little linty because when I wash things and dry them, I just, I put them in there and I, I pray that everything turns out okay. I don't look at labels to see if they should be washed on cool because I don't have time for that. This sweater, look how cute. This little sweater has got a little detail, it's a little fluffs on the sleeve, very cute. Um, it is from Belle by Beldini. Sounds like a wizard. And it is in a 3X, and it's just a nice, comfy sweater. It's in this nice gray, looks really cute with a hat. So we're gonna try this one on with like, well, let's, let's put together some outfits. We're clearly just like flying by the seat of our pants in this video. Planning is not my thing. Um, so let's try on our little sweater here with, honestly, the creme de la creme of, I think, anything that I've gotten from DN Co. And it is these Madewell jeans. I have never, owned Madewell jeans or Madewell anything, I knew they were kind of spinny. The number of jeans that I have purchased from places where I'm like, yeah, it's okay, like it'll do. I end up really not wearing them that much if I can avoid it because they just, they never fit perfectly. They never fit my waist or like flare out in the bottom the way that I want them to or anything. It's not the right wash. There's just a lot of things that go into jeans that need to be perfect in order to work. And these are that. I would say like lasso jeans, also great, but are literally custom built for your body. These, just as good, honestly. To be fair, I think they're similar price points, but these are the perfect vintage jean in an 18W. Um, and they are truly like the most classic, beautiful blue mom jean. They're not skinny, so I can fit in with the youths. They, they feel like jeans that you have had in your closet for the past five years and you wear all the time. You know what I mean? They're, they're like so soft, but they're also not stretchy. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they like take them out back and just beat them. That seems violent. It's, they're somehow like perfectly worn. <laughs> so they're not like that rigid denim. So let's try that on with the sweater. All right, so this is the first outfit with the sweater and the jeans. This is probably as good as we're gonna get. It's gonna be a bit echoey, but you can see the full, full length, uh, the jeans, it's like a really, oh, can we just, but like look, they're like perfectly, they're just so dreamy, but the butt, oh so nice. They're kind of a, they're not a super high rise, but they're definitely high rise enough. I like a bit of room because when I sit down, stuff happens. <laughs> and then the sweater is also super cute. Half tuck here, a little French tuck for my guy Tan France. And it's got these little, arm tassels, which are very fun. And then this kind of knitted 
design to it. And yeah, so it's just like a really nice cozy size. If you wanted it to be more fitted, you could size down. It's big and comfy and cozy. Ooh. Uh, love it, love it, love it, love it. Also from Madewell, so this is kind of like a, like a Henley. It's got these little like tortoiseshell buttons. It is soft, it is slightly itchy. Not terribly itchy, slightly itchy. Like I would probably have to wear a tank top underneath it, but I'm very sensitive. I'm a sensitive little peach. This was in a 2X. I probably could have sized down. It's pretty loose, but I like that baggy comfy life, you know? Um, and it has kind of like these cute little neutral speckles in it with browns and blacks and orange and all festive colors. It'd be a really nice uh, option for things. Giving. If you're in a cozy place where you need to be a warm, um, and I'm gonna wear this with the jeans again. And on top of that, also one of my favorite items, um, also from Madewell. The last thing was from Madewell too. I don't know if I said that. Is this? I would classify it as a shacket. Is this kind of ooh, deep forest green button-up shacket? I don't know. I got it in at two X, but I really love it. It's really soft, like butter. It's it's a vibe. It's almost like a, it's like a flannel. It's like a flannel. It might be a flannel. <laughs> I'll try that on with the previous top and the jeans again. Okay, so let's start with the Henley. This isn't fully untucked. I probably wouldn't wear it that way. I'd probably wear it tucked up. But again, a big, loose, comfy vibe. If you wanted it to be more fitted, size down. I think I sized up in most of these just because I want it to be more comfy. So it's like true to size. Yes, uh, the jeans are definitely true to size. I don't think I said that. Um, normally I would size up in jeans. I kept, I was like, nope, we're getting an 18. And they fit like a glove. The tops, like I would definitely be able to make a smaller size work, but I am a creature of comfort. The jacket or button up or flannel, whatever. <laughs> you want to call it. Um, it fits over, obviously like the sweater is pretty bulky and it fits over it really nice. It's not tight or uncomfortable. It's super cozy. This is just like, this is a look. Throw on a little beanie, some boots, and it is a full look. All right, so final ensemble. Clearly one of my favorite colors is green. Got this dress. It is frim. Sugar, sugar lips, we love that. And it is in a 3X. It comes with a little like tie for the waist, which I don't have. I just normally, if I wear it, I either don't wear it with any type of belt or I'll just use one of mine as like a little pop. But it's like super, super soft. It's got a little slit in the front, which just makes it a little sussy. I could easily wear this in the summertime because you know, it's sleeveless, but it's nice. It's nice and covered. So if you're wearing it to work, you don't need to worry about distracting any of the men. Whatever. It's super cute, really soft, a good year round option. So I'll try that on with the final item, which is um, also from Belle or Beldini. It is this kind of creamy, creamy sweater. And clearly they have this kind of signature ruffle sleeve. And this is like a long, a long cardigan, which I realized that I don't, I like don't have any cardigans at all. And so this is great just to like chuck on. Uh, it's got a pocket, you know, the value of a pocket. So we'll try that on with the green dress. Okay, so not the right bra to be wearing with this. Let's just do this, the, the dress first. You can see it's got this little slit. It's like a cottony type of material. It's like super comfy, really soft, flowy, not tight or restricting at all, like even the, waist has elastic in it, so it's a vibe. But like, I feel like it flows nicely over my body, over my curves. And yeah, she looks really, really nice. So we'll throw on the last sweater, like this with boots and a hat. She's a bit slouchy, but you could also like really easily belt this together so that it gives you, if you want more of a defined waist, if that's your jam, if not, live your baggy girl dream. Perfect for the holiday season. Like Thanksgiving, this would be perfect. So you're like, I'm wearing a dress, so I am fancy. But at the same time, she can grow with the, the turkey dinner. What do we think? All right, so that is everything 
that I have gotten from Dia & Co of the past month or so. The things are, I wouldn't say like expensive. There's a range. Uh, they also do a Dia box where it's like a style box, you know, similar like Stitch Fix or something like that. Um, and they also have an active box, which I would assume is similar to Fabletics. Um, but both are kind of like plus conscious, which is amazing. I've not tried the style box, but I would like to. That sounds fun. Uh, those are some options if you're kind of into the style box, but like aren't convinced that other ones are plus size friendly. Uh, worth giving it a try. And let's just look at like tops. Let's use that as a base just to see like what the prices are. So we'll sort by price, low to high. Oh. I mean, yeah, they have t-shirts that are $14, $20, like Madewell t-shirts that are 20 bucks that look very nice. Love Fool. Uh, yeah, they got like 2022, like pretty average um, kind of online retailer prices. So it's a, it's a good range. Obviously you're gonna have things that are a bit more spinny, but there are some more budget friendly items, which is always appreciated. But they have sizes. I know it's like, oh, we're inclusive. We go up to a XL. False. Um, this goes from a size two. So for straight fright, Straight fries friends, straight size friends. You're welcome to shop here too. It's not a plus size exclusive. It's just, it's very inclusive. Uh, so it goes from a size two to a size to a four XL, which is good. So let's just take an example. I mean, like obviously there's like a lot of ranges depending on the brand, but this one, select a size, it goes up to a three X, which is the 22, 24. And there's definitely some four X stuff which I would assume would be 26 to 28. Yeah, pretty inclusive. It would be nice if it went up to, uh, you know, in the 30s, but considering the amount of brands that they have, that's really cool. So anyway, let me know. Have you bought anything from DN Co? What is your favorite item? Is there anything that you'd be like, yeah, I'd like to try that? Any other uh, shops? that you think I should try. Obviously, like, I don't know any, like of the brands, there was like 40 of them. And I was like, I don't know what any of these are. Clearly I need to do some research of other plus size or at least inclusive size, inclusive brands. Thanks for bearing with, I hope you enjoyed. If you would be so kind, it'd be really helpful if you could subscribe to my channel, turn on the little bell icon for when I start posting regularly, which will be starting now. It's gonna be every Sunday. Sunday at a time at a time. It's a mystery, so you better turn on that bell icon because I don't even know. <laughs> so this is gonna be um, some, maybe some more sit down chats. Um, next week I'm gonna do a Q&A. So if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments section and I will add them to the list. I'm excited uh, to keep trying out new things with you guys. So um, here are my socials. Follow me in all of those places. And I will see you next week. Bye.